Hey, what's going on guys? I hope I sound okay right now, and I apologize for the very weird camera angles. I'm gonna be trying to like maybe move it a bit as the video goes on, so we can hopefully get something a bit better here. I I need to get a bit more of an official setup before I try to do something like this again, but this is just kind of me testing the waters to see if anybody would actually like to see content like this. Most of the drawing should be in frame, and even at times when it isn't, I'll like move the camera and I'll kind of like hold it up so you guys can see it a bit better at the end. I also hope that I sound okay, because the mic is in a bit of a different position from where it normally probably would be. I'm not exactly sure though. Anyways, today we're just gonna be sketching some video game characters so lately you know okay so first i'll take you guys back to when i was a kid when i was a kid i used to love to draw all the time i used to draw stuff like spongebob and veggie tales and stuff like that and lately within the last couple weeks i've tried to get back into it so first things first i'm not even going to spoil what the characters are and i'm going to try to draw a couple characters on here so i'm uh, yeah i'm still trying to learn like proportions and stuff like that so i guess we'll just kind of start up up here up in this corner uh, i guess i'll go ahead and just try to get a decent thing going here as you guys will see i'm not the best when it comes to like uh getting things right the first time so there's probably going to be a lot of instances where i end up erasing things so first things first here and I, again i apologize for the terrible angles i'm going to do my best to keep everything actually in frames so you guys can see what's happening here but first things first just go ahead and get a very loose circle and obviously this isn't a tutorial by any means because i'm not very good at drawing myself as you can see like even that circle i ended up messing up and granted this isn't the usual setup where i draw so i'm actually a bit uncomfortable right now because like me like i'm trying to like reach around a couple things to actually be able to draw on the paper i know <laughs> that probably doesn't make much sense my well, my setup is just a little chaotic right now so i'm doing the best with what i got but anyways yeah in recent times i've just been trying to you know just draw again and furthermore like actually get good at it this time so i guess first things first we should probably like put a little line down the center or at least close to it and then i think the eye line should go a little bit above halfway so i'm thinking like maybe right there yeah like somewhere right around there like not exactly halfway through the circle but like just a little bit above it for the bottom of the eye line and then i'm thinking for the first arm it should probably be a little bit above where the other eye would start so we'll go something yeah we, we want it to be rather round rather friendly looking rather plush like that I, I think that's up just a little bit too high we need to make that just a little bit lower if anything i think it should go like right here so we'll have we'll have it go out a little bit per thing so we'll have it go out a little bit there have it go out a little bit there and then it should just kind of come together look real nice and plush again yeah I'm, I'm i'm definitely messing that up that's like up way too high it needs to be angled a bit more i know for some artists it's kind of like a cardinal sin to use the eraser as much as i am but again i'm kind of a beginner so i'm trying to just like you know get Get, a, get acquainted with things, learn how to like actually draw things before I, oh my gosh, how am I messing this up this bad? I've drawn this character before and I've never messed up the arm this badly. I am a bit of a perfectionist though, like if it isn't exactly like, perfect on my first go around, I'll keep attempting at it. Eh, I mean, that's somewhat decent, I guess. We'll go ahead and draw the other arm while I'm at it, maybe like, I think it should go like what, maybe like right about there is that does that make sense for this character to be fair that is what the eraser is for so you know if this ends up getting messed up then i can always come back and fix this later but for the time being we'll just a yeah, rough shape like that this this one should definitely be a bit smaller i think since it's a bit more out of the way so we'll go ahead and yeah you know what that actually looks somewhat okay i i think i might need to fix that up a bit later but now for the eyes i think the eyes should go somewhere about i want to try to like get this sorted out first so somewhere around there i uh, no, they should be a little bit closer how's that look does that yeah that looks way better for this character so we'll go ahead and erase that line there and again the bottom of the eyes are going to go somewhere around there because this is kind of like a perspective thing where the camera is sort of like above the character a little bit so we'll go ahead and get the line going right there and now we'll just kind of round it out with this character it's really important that you make everything look very round typically when it comes to art and stuff like that like uh, i mean any anybody that's acquainted with this stuff i mean this isn't new news i mean even if you're not acquainted with art like the rounder something looks the softer it looks the more friendly or more appealing i guess it could look or just you know more cute it could look so something sort of like this i mean it's not yeah it's not perfect by any means but it doesn't i mean we're not trying to create perfect drawings right now we're literally just kind of sketching some video game characters as the title says i think that that is decent and at this point if you're even somewhat acquainted with characters or you know like gaming or super smash bros or nintendo characters or just the series in general then you should know who this character is just from that next up we got to draw the mouth which goes not too much farther below the eyes so i want to say like right about here would be yeah that looks like a decent spot right there so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a general outline for the mouth first just so we can make sure it looks decent do a little triangle and yeah i think that looks pretty good so what we're going to do is actually uh should it i, I think it might actually it might want to go up just a little bit closer like literally like 
right there maybe no 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 down a little bit more yeah right there and then we'll kind of just do like a general thing we want the mouth to be in the center of the eyes and not necessarily go past it because again we want everything to look really petite and together and cute so i think like right about here where we wanted to not necessarily go past where the eyes begin like you, you like you can go past that line a little bit but definitely not into like uh, the eye itself so this side definitely needs to come down just a wee bit more and the only reason that i don't mind using the eraser as much as i do i definitely curve that mouth way too much but um it's because obviously once you're done drawing everything usually what i do is i grab like a pen or some sort of ink of some kind and then i will go back in and trace everything and then i'll hit it all with an eraser obviously so at this point it's actually kind of getting hard to see because the with the, with the way i have the light angled right now it's like it's sort of it, it, it I, I don't know how to do since i'm drawing really light it's uh, kind of hard to see things so i'm trying to draw just a little bit uh i i guess like harder with the pencil so then i can actually see the outlines a bit better which uh yeah that is definitely not lined up the way that i would want it to be i think these dots right here that i just drew look a bit better for the mouse so we want to curve it just a little bit more than i had it and again i apologize if this looks like you know like normally my drawings aren't the best as is but this definitely looks a little bit more rough even compared to usual but again we're just kind of rough sketching here it doesn't need to be the most perfect thing in the world i think that that is somewhat decent again it's one of those things where like when i would go to ink it i'd be able to fix it up and make it look even better but generally speaking that is okay and then right below the eyes or like it, it kind of goes like up above the eyes too but it starts like a little bit below the eyes over here we want to have the the uh like the blushing effect so i think that should start right about there and right about no one one of these is too close and one of these is too far i think this one yeah, there we go. Something like that. And this one should go a little bit further back, I think. I think right about there is decent enough. It's just the blush, so it doesn't need to be act like absolutely perfect. Just kind of get like a general thing going here or something like that. Yeah, like a, like a nice little oval. I believe it should also be up at an angle too, just ever so slightly. Yeah, it's sort of, sort of going out like this, just sort of bring it all together. Uh, I know that these are still definitely a bit too wide, so we want to go ahead and sharpen that up a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Something like that. Again, this isn't my usual setup, so I'm like actually having trouble seeing this as I'm drawing it. I'm like almost, I don't want to say I'm like half blind as I'm drawing it, but it almost feels that way. Like, see, it's actually going out of frame, which I apologize. Just, I didn't realize I was doing that. Let me try to angle this a bit more. Maybe, can you guys see a little bit better now if I do it like that? As far as the blush is concerned, see, I like how this one, actually, no, this one looks a little weird too. That one kind of looks like a baked bean. There we go something like that kind of this this blush is still definitely way too fat but i mean I'm, I'm doing my best here it's just a rough sketch there we go make this one a bit smaller again it doesn't need to be perfect whatever i, I feel like that's good enough it's a rough sketch whatever and then for, as far as the feet are concerned they would they should start right about here i believe let me just go ahead and kind of like roughly sketch this out so i can make sure yeah that that looks like far enough and then you kind of just like bring it out it's like a nice like oval shape you don't want them to be too big definitely don't want them to be too small either because Kirby does have some reasonably sized feet, so I'd say like something like, yeah, no, they should go out a little bit more. There we go, something like that, sort of, kind of, yeah, definitely should have been angled a little bit more, I think, but all in all, I think that that is decent. So there we have it. We have officially sketched our first character, that being Kirby. This, this shoe, see, this is, I also have really bad OCD, so I kind of have like a bad habit of uh, re like erasing until it's perfect. See, because now I keep messing it up even more. I should have just left it as it was before, but curve it around just a little bit more and there we go there is kirby obviously if i wanted to i could go in hit this with the pen and make everything look all fancy but again we're just doing some rough sketches today just get the general idea going get the creative juices going uh i should probably should i erase this line nah i think i'll leave those lines in just then it's kind of like you know you can see that it's supposed to be an arm there so there we go there is our first video game character let me cut myself a break we're gonna go ahead and do another circular one but this one's gonna be even easier we're just gonna do a quick and iconic video game character just to give myself a break after kirby because my i could already feel my ocd starting to go crazy see the thing is too i i can't even draw a circle to save my life like you as an artist you know there's a few things you should be able to do and you would think that drawing a circle would be one of them but me personally hey i never claimed to be an artist you know what i mean i'm just i'm just kind of rough sketching here and just like that we kind of go do 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 about right there and about right there i'd say and then we uh no this side should be a little bit uh, maybe 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 like right about there there we go then bring it in a little bit then we take this side bring it up to there that's 
Ah, that, it should probably go in just a little bit more. We want it to come to a point sort of like somewhere around there, right? Like, yeah, uh, no, actually that would mean that it's open way too much. We want, we want the point to be like somewhere in the middle of the circle. So if anything, then it should go down to there like that. Grab this side, bring it up to there like that. There we go. Erase these filler lines over here and somewhere in the middle of the circle, like right about, I want to say right here, maybe. Yeah, I feel like this is a decent spot for just kind of color in a little circle doesn't need to be the most perfect thing in the world but there we go oh wait did i mess that up yeah i actually think i did mess that up a bit what is good enough I, I i did my best there we go we have pac-man and for our next character i don't know how this one is gonna go necessarily i'm i'm actually quite anxious about trying to draw this one but i'm gonna do my very best so first we need to get a very rough outline and i do mean very very rough so we'll go ahead kind of do something like that Bring it in a little bit at the top and then maybe go up at an angle a little bit more. We're just trying to get a very generic and basic and safe outline. In fact, I think this shape that I'm going for right here in itself is actually even just a bit too complicated. Uh, yeah, that should probably go in right about there. Bring it down over here at an angle and then bring it down just like that. And then we want it. We don't want this to be too long here. So I think maybe if it. Yeah, w would that really be enough space? I don't know, we'll find out soon enough. Then we'll just kind of round it out and have it all connect right there. And I know you're probably looking at this, you're like, dude, what in the heck are you drawing? But you'll find out soon enough. Uh, I think, yeah, it should actually be just a wee bit longer. I had the right idea initially, so we'll bring it down just a little bit. And then same thing as before, kind of curve it around. And I think that is a more appropriate length for what we are going for. I forget if I explained why I'm wearing gloves or not. And that's simply just because like sometimes when I'm drawing, I get annoyed when like all the all the pencil stuff gets on the side of my hand. You know what I mean? And right now the weather has been rather inconsistent. So my hands are really dry. So like, you know, I didn't want to have to like wash my hands a bunch after this to get the pencil stuff off because my hands are kind of dry as is. And when I have to wash them, it kind of like makes them drier or makes them hurt a bit more. But anyway, now we need to go ahead and kind of just get our general outline for everything here. So now we're going to do just a typical thing, you know, thing across the face. And then in this instance, we want to go as close as possible to the top without being like too, yeah, some, some sort of like this. We need it to be kind of round while we're at it. So just a very, very loose outline, just like that. And then we need to go down just a little bit. We're just kind of like eyeballing this, right? Cause I like, I know some artists, they say they have like measurements and they have like all these fancy rulers and those things. I, I can't even remember what they're called at the moment, but the things where, you know, you put them down or you like attach your pencil to it and then it kind of like makes circles for you and all of that. And they have like their own measurement things, but I am not that fancy. This right here looks like a decent outline. I can tell it's a little misaligned, like the one side's going up just a bit too much, but what can you do? Again, just rough sketches. So there we go. That probably looks like a decent length right there. So basically what I'm trying to do right now is, well, actually I can't say what I'm trying to do right now because if I tell you what I'm trying to do right now, then that might give away who this is. But if you played a lot of first person shooters, you probably already have at least a decent idea as to who I am drawing right now. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> that probably gave it away right there so in order to give the illusion of what i'm trying to draw we're gonna need to give like a nice curve the whole way around up here so i'm gonna need to make these lines just a bit more extreme something like something something like that does that look i think i curved it just a wee bit too much in fact i think the helmet itself is actually way too thin Thin. yeah this is way too thin i should have made it a bit thicker whoopsie daisy if anything the helmet should probably go out to like here maybe like <laughs> that wait no that means that i have to like redo all of this doesn't oh dang it okay yeah i should have i should have made this just a wee bit thicker to begin with okay so i'm like right about there up to there there we go that looks that, that's a bit thicker than what it was so that looks a bit better just go ahead connect this all the way over to here drop this down a little bit and there we go, something sort of like that, I guess. I had the right idea with this part, though. Just go ahead and kind of, like, draw that. Oh, I just realized that it's going out of frame again. I apologize. I also had this way too curved. It doesn't need to curve that much. Just up a little bit, and then there we go. Well, let's just get the outline once again, so up like that right over here up like that yeah i feel like that's a fair distance fair distance no it's not yes it is yes it is right there yeah just like that and then this side bring it up to there we'll erase that outer line here in a minute and then we want it to kind of swoosh the whole way across so we'll give it the nice 
Swoosh. Is that? Yeah, that's high enough on the helmet for sure. So we'll just kind of do, 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 do all the way across. Connect it right there. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's art. It doesn't need to be. It's a rough sketch. You can always fix it up later, which, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with these drawings. I might end up tracing them up. Hey, you know what? Go. I, I don't plug my social medias too often, but if you want to see more of my art, I've been posting on Instagram a lot lately, anytime that I draw literally anything. So if you would like to see more of my art, or if you would like to know just when I'm drawing things, I either post, I usually I post the rough sketches on my story, and then I post compilation posts after. So like, I'll put it up on my story. And then when it's complete, I'll, I'll I put up like a post, like kind of like showing the whole process from sketch to trace to color to the final post. And you know, like color putting in like backgrounds and stuff like that so you know if that type of thing does interest you and if you'd like to see more of that i will have my instagram linked in the description it is also just at grotesque ig we'll go ahead and slash this down the center once more because i do kind of need that general outline again for the one thing that i'm trying to do here so uh, i think it should come up just not too much like right about there yeah just like that so we'll have this kind of come in sort of like that and then have it yeah just like that yeah right there there we go that looks that looks somewhat decent this can just be a straight line right there. that's actually going up way too high it should be down a little bit more this side something like that it should uh, that's definitely way too high whoops okay bring it up and then connect it connect it across just like that just not not too tall there we go that's I, cur I curved some of this way too much, but what can you do? This is my first time trying to draw this character, so please go easy on me. <laughs> Actually, the only character that I've drawn here today uh, before was Kirby, but I haven't even drawn this exact pose before. I, I drew it like somewhat differently. See, this is another consequence of drawing at an angle. I just realized that this side of the visor is slooping down way too much, and it's also way too angled, so we need to bring it up just like this, and then have it go across, have it go right up to there. There we go. See, that looks... A little bit better this side is a little bit too straight now see this one i'm talking about my perfectionism is it perfect no are we going for perfection no now we just need to get a rough outline that follows the visor this will probably be the easiest part of this entire drawing so we'll have it go out to here and then we need yeah we just kind of want to get like a general outline for this outer part too so we'll go ahead just kind of draw this up just a little bit just so i kind of have an idea of what i'm working with here then we'll have that connect something like there same thing up here get a general outline that kind of follows the um like the visor or the eye hole part i just realized that it was going out of frame again i apologize fixing it once again and then as for the center part you just kind of let it go just go across something like that i don't know why i'm talking as if this is a tutorial because again obviously this is not a tutorial because i can barely like i'm learning to draw this as i'm drawing it just kind of going off of what i know i think that outer part Part might be just thick enough i'm not exactly sh too sure there i'm not going to be trying to color in all the fine details in this sketch either because that would uh that just I, I i just honestly don't see that happening if i'm gonna be like if i'm just gonna give the honest answer i just don't under i just don't know how i would do that right now like if i were to even attempt that i would probably need more stuff here with me like i'd probably need, need to start whipping out the colors and the and the tracing and stuff like that so i could actually like uh kind of like keep up with the details that i'm putting in see like i'm messing up again here because this 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 side went way too uh way way too low that needs to come up just a little bit more just to try to at least at least give the uh, illusion that things are a bit more you know symmetrical and exact here like they should be but it is what it is okay so this line right here this is going to be the edge of the visor okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect these just sort of like that sort of like i did on the other side yeah this one this is definitely the worst one yet this one <laughs> this one definitely does not look good at all so i think this should probably just uh keep going down because then we have to have like the main Okay, yeah, trying to draw this character might have actually been a really bad idea because I just realized how hard this is actually going to be. So we have this right here, and then there's sort of like the light things that he has. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't I don't even know what I was thinking with this character. I was thinking, oh, it's just a helmet. That'll be easy peasy, but no, this is actually really difficult. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to spoil it. I was going to try to draw Master Chief right here, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't see this happening. I mean, I, I'm trying. I'll, I'll, I'll still give it my best shot, I guess. I mean, I'll just, I'll at least try to fill in the outer, the fine details of like the outer lines and stuff like that but i really don't even understand it, like what i'm doing here because he has like these cool light things on the side which even that in my thing is going a little bit too far out so we just need to yeah something like that and then it kind of uh you don't want it to be too big then it kind of just like swoops in connects here to the bottom part which honestly i mean i guess this isn't as bad as i thought it was i mean it's still really terrible but like i mean it could be a lot worse anyway i was plugging my instagram thing for a reason i completely forgot why it was for a second but uh yeah i um if you guys want me to like actually trace these and color these then i could do that over on my instagram but 
Otherwise, yeah, this is just a test video it's just to see if this kind of content, you know, it's, it's something that anybody would be interested in. It wouldn't replace my gaming content, of course, because, like, gaming is everything to me. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, hey, it's a hobby I've, I used to be into, but then kind of stopped for a couple of years. And I've been getting back into lately and figured I'd share with the world. I mean, that's what YouTube was designed to do anyway, right? Like, it, it, and it was never supposed to be about, like, the algorithms or this, that, or the other. It was just about, like making content on whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing in your life, whether it was about one specific niche thing or whether it was about branching out and trying to make content on different things like I'm doing right now. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I know there's like the algorithms and stuff where it's like, oh, if you try to make different content, the algorithm will hate you for it. But what do I care what some stupid AI algorithm computer thing care, like thinks about me or my content? You know what I mean? I'm just doing what I want. I just want to enjoy what I'm doing. Anywho, old man ramblings aside, I think that lines up somewhat decently there. And then again, this don't need to be perfect i can just have it sort of connect up like that 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 that's still a little too high there we go bring it bring it down a little bit there we go see that's starting to line up a bit better okay you know i think i was being too hard on myself that's another thing with my art i am really hard on myself like when they say that you're your harshest critic uh th that that saying goes like triply so for me like i am so harsh on myself when it comes to me and my art and i just if i'm gonna be honest i really don't believe in myself when it comes to this stuff like I, I, I do my best to be optimistic about what I'm working on and what I'm drawing and all that, but I am... I, I, am, I am very hard on myself. When I was back in school back in the day, my art teachers always used to be like, Nathan, you gotta stop being so hard on yourself because I was always just like, no, this looks terrible. And I get to a point where it was like, I wouldn't shut down necessarily, but I just like, I'd get to a point where it was like, man, I don't even want to work on this project anymore just because it looks so terrible and I messed it up. But then, you know, it's all about like going outside of your comfort zone, taking that risk, doing something you're not comfortable with doing. Like right now I'm trying to draw Master Chief. Oh, well, I just spoiled it. But yeah, I'm trying to draw Master Chief and clearly i'm not very comfortable doing it because i've never done this before but what i'm gonna do right now is instead of trying to make it like a one for one of how it should look i'm gonna take a couple liberties so then even though it may not look like one to one exact to how master chief is supposed to look it'll look better in my drawing if that makes sense because sometimes when you're trying to draw things you need to take those liberties and just be like hey sure this isn't exactly how it's supposed to look in the context of the character or the thing that i'm trying to draw however if you need to take those liberties and make it so that hey when it comes to the proportions or whatever it is of what you're drawing at the moment then you know if you got to take those liberties then take those liberties because it's better to take some liberties and have the picture be less accurate but look better than have it look like complete and utter garbo again don't take advice from me though i'm just going off of my subjective opinions because again i don't know anything about art but then again art is just art you know it doesn't there's not any rules to it you just draw what you feel like drawing if it comes out good it does if it doesn't then it doesn't and i know this is probably really hypocritical for me to say because i'm the guy that's been sitting here being so crucial on myself for the last hour you know that this video as we going on now but still once more we have another example of me taking some liberties here because even though it won't be exact to master chief himself i need to sort of do things just a little bit differently in order to make them look a bit better in the context of my drawing so just like that this top part is a little bit too angled we want that to be more of like a straight line across just something similar to that kind of draw it down like that there we go it's not again it's not perfect but it doesn't need to be now we're gonna go ahead and we're not gonna it doesn't need to be exactly perfect but i'm just gonna cut, sort of color in this inner part of the visor just so it's a bit more i guess clear what it's actually supposed to be and this would obviously be the black part around the visor and in terms of that i mean we could i was gonna try to give them some highlights but now that i'm thinking about it i'm not very good when it comes to like uh lighting and stuff like that like i've been working on my shading uh skills which i've been getting better at for sure lately but i'm still not very good when it comes to like figuring out where that shading is exactly supposed to go or where the lighting is supposed to go or where like you know the highlights and all that are supposed to go I accidentally colored into the visor a little bit whoops but yeah, still got to work on my lighting, my shading, my highlighting, as well as my coloring in general, because it's not very good. And clearly, I just need to improve my drawing skills in general. I feel like this is somewhat decent, though. This is definitely coming out better than I expected it to. And down here, um, I guess we could sort of just draw it up like this, just sort of have it connect in connect into there because he has like those little uh like the little black things right here yes yeah, sort of some similar to like like this so it just sort of comes in like this and yeah not i don't i don't i don't even know what i'm doing at this point I, again doing my best here i feel like it probably yeah it curves way more like that and then it's sort of just like it comes down sort of at an angle not too harsh of an angle and they're also not that big so 
really something like this like yeah that that bat in itself is probably big enough maybe it could come out a little bit more but i'm not gonna be too pedantic about it same thing over here just sort of erase this side and then maybe have a line go up like right about here yeah that looks somewhat decent i think and then sort of same thing just have a have the line sort of follow there. Does that line up somewhat decently? I, I think that's okay. Then we'll sort of have this come down, loop around, come out just a little bit, because it doesn't need to line up with the bottom of the helmet. Like, it's supposed to kind of just stay on its own line while the helmet comes down to the to the jaw line to do its own sort of thing there. So uh, definitely mess this up a little bit, but what can you do? I think I'll have it go out just a little bit more, make it just a little bit thicker. Yeah, yeah, that, oh no, that's... This side isn't coming down as much as it should. This side should be coming down just at a bit of a harsher angle. Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit better. Have that come down, have this go up. And uh, this is one of those things that I probably should color in. So, I mean, I could probably at least alleviate some of the growing pains that I have with this at the moment. Um, there we go. Yeah, somewhat decent. Sure, I mean, that's good enough. Now, there is a lot more, like, complicated details with Master Chief. Like, you have all the different, like... <laughs> like lines and stuff that kind of grows across this helmet like right up here i want to say there's like um there there's like the thing where it like kind of pops out a little bit to kind of like give it the impression of like uh, i don't know just i don't i don't even know you know what i mean where it just kind of like pops out a little bit but oh no i don't know if i want to get into all of that necessarily because i'm already having a hard enough time as it is just kind of drawing this i'm not very good when it comes to again like uh, I don't want to say like fine details or proportions overall, but more or less like things that are supposed to imply three dimensions. You know what I mean? Like when I'm drawing something and it's supposed to imply like, oh yeah, this is like three, like the impressions that would have to be drawn on Master Chief's helmet right up here. Like they're here to imply that it's like three dimensional, but the thing is I'm not very good at drawing stuff like that. So like, see, I can try to draw it across, but even then, even if I do draw it, it it's like... It doesn't necessarily even add or take away from the drawing like it's cool that it's there but again it's like i don't know just kind of out of context it might actually make it look worse in a certain way so i don't know you kind of got that then you sort of got some of the uh plates down here as well that sort of like they don't necessarily meet in the middle but they do go up sort of towards the center there i want to say they sort of connect like right on the edge of this thing right here like the centerpiece we'll kind of have it come down no it's definitely way too angled so some just like that just ever so slightly just like that and then th this isn't necessarily the thing that i'm trying to draw it's just you know sort of giving a rough outline for a minute and then we'll have this plate come up a little bit and then something like that and then have it go all the way up and sort of connect into that not the best looking thing in the world but i think that no that this side needs to come out a little bit more have it you know what let me just let me let, i'm realizing how unsymmetrical all of this is now as i'm drawing this whoops there we go it's something it's yeah sure that i mean okay uh wait no that 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 doesn't even look right okay hold on this is supposed to come out just a little bit more and then this this that's what it is that that's what looks so weird here this this thing was a little too tall there we go that sure why not right Okay, I mean, I mean, it's something. But anyway, those lines are, like, these lines are supposed to be here, but then this kind of goes off and does its own thing once again. So we need to recolor in the visor because part of that kind of got erased. But then we have that go up, and then, yeah, those are supposed to be a bit lighter. Those go off and do their own thing. Those are fine right there. Then we have, like, these little things right here. So we put that in just a very light shade on it. Nothing more. And there we go. You see, it's it's starting to come together a bit more than it was before. It still doesn't look like the best thing in the world. But honestly, compared to how I was expecting this to look, you know, I was expecting it to look a lot better. But at the same time, I also saw a universe where this thing came out looking a lot worse. So honestly, on a scale of 1 to 10, in terms of my disappointment, a 10 being how disappointed my father is in me, and a 1 just kind of being like, you know, I got four pepper on my pizza slice instead of five um i'd, I'd probably give that about a, 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 a like maybe a four a five i'm i'm midway disappointed in that but i i it could be a lot worse and hey it was my first time trying to draw master chief so i mean i'm actually all things considered I'm okay with that. All right, so we have some Nintendo representation, some Xbox representation, and this, I mean, that's just name code. That's just something else. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and draw a PlayStation character. Now, we're not going to draw the full character because it's another one where there's a lot of fine details and I'd probably end up spending way too much time on it just being super pedantic about the details. So, we're just going to draw the head just to kind of save myself from heading into another OCD spree. But as for the head, we want it to be just 
sort of sort sort of ovalish i mean it's it's sort of round all the way around i definitely messed high. again i'm messing up like the basic outline here but oh well it's definitely a bit more straight along the side so yeah some sort of like that and then come up right to there i mean yeah it, it should definitely be a bit more round on the edges but as far as things go this is could be a lot worse it's one of those tricky things because the sides of the head are a bit more straight but they're also more round at the same time sort of like how i have the left side so like yeah, we'll bring it out just a little bit more, but not too much. Yeah, something like that. I mean, that's definitely way too eggy. Yeah, that that that's way too eggy, actually. It needs to be a little bit less eggy. There we go. Something just like that. Yeah, that's... I don't know if that's too small necessarily, but it's better than it being too big, if you ask me. So, you know, it, I, I feel like... I don't know, in drawing, I just, sometimes I feel like I'd rather have things be too small than too big, because when they look too big, I don't know, I just feel like that's even more amateur, but maybe, I feel like an argument could be made either way. Anywho, I'm just gonna go ahead, try to fix up the finer details here again, doesn't need to be the most perfect thing in the world, this needs to come in just a little bit more than it is right now, there we go, yeah, let's try to slim out the head a bit, I know it's a little misaligned, once again, it's sort of doing that weird thing, but something's telling me that I'm just, you know, I, I, I'm being a little too finicky here, I'm being a little too picky. There we go. That's, pr that's pretty decent right there, I'd say. I mean, again, I do wish it was a little bit more round, but I mean, if I... Once I erase the sketch lines, I mean, I'll be able to fix it up a bit more. So now this will probably be pretty simple. We just draw a line right down the center, something sort of like that. And then as for the eye line, I mean, like... I kind of need to draw where the top and the bottom goes. So I'd say for the top, we're probably safe going, like, right about here. I mean, maybe, maybe a little bit lower, like, right about there, I'd say. And then as for the other part, we should probably go, like, right down here, I want to say. I just realized that I'm accidentally... I was drawing this at an angle, so this one's going to be an angle while the rest of these are kind of straight up, but... What can you do? And then as for the eyes, just go ahead and, okay, I kind of need to, this is another situation where I'll definitely need to map out, like, where the eyes are going to go exactly. So they aren't too far apart, so I want to say they're, like, right about there. Yeah, that actually, that, maybe a little bit closer on each side, just, like, not too close now, but I would say that that's probably an appropriate distance. All right, right about there, and then we kind of just, like, um, they're, they're more oval shapes, so we want to have it go all the way to the edge of the face as well so we'll kind of start it out there and then have it go all the way around and just have it yeah sort of oval out sort of like this again the eyes might be a little bit too big but oh well if anything i feel like i might have accidentally separated yeah they're definitely a bit too separated this eye definitely needs to come in just a wee bit yeah like right about there that that looks better than <laughs> that definitely looks better than i had before so we go ahead just sort of oval this one out that eye is <laughs> <laughs> that eye's looking a lot bigger than the other one. That, that's no bueno. How's that? Is that... Ooh, ooh, wow, that's looking really rough. How's that? Is that, is that, is that a little bit better once we, once we erase some of these lines and we kind of sketch it out a bit more? I mean, yeah, yeah, that's... that's getting better so we got the eye there just gonna leave some of the sketch lines the sketch lines kind of make up for some of the imperfections and then as for the mouth it goes literally the mouth goes like almost the entire way across the face like even even the lines and stuff like that so, and it goes like literally right below the eyes so we need to is that no that's probably a little bit too close even but like literally it goes right below the eyes right across now if you're a playstation fan and if you're a bit older i mean then again this 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 franchise did just get an entry lately so you probably i mean even if you're a bit younger you probably can recognize this but if you're an og this is a series that definitely means a lot to you especially if you're like me and you played it during the ps2 generation now the mouth yeah it starts it starts like a little bit past the eyes but not really and then it goes across like very very slimly and he does from uh what i remember have like a decently sized chin so i don't think that's too that's probably like a little bit too big for the chin but at the same time like i i don't think that's too big of a deal i apologize if there was any weird cuts uh it turns out i actually need to hurry up and get this done because my camera just ran out of storage so when it comes to fine details we're kind of beyond all that i just kind of need to make this thing happen so this you know this would be a cool speed run of mine but yeah because i was recording and then i went to look at the camera i was like oh wait what's going on and then and it said oh yeah it wasn't recording because for some reason the um yeah my camera just sort of ran out of storage so this would be a fun exercise to see if i can actually speed run drawing efficiently i would say that this probably just needs to come down like right about there just like that and then connect it sort of at the top just like that that's that's somewhat decent i'd say and then you know lines need to go across out there just sort of imply depth and then up here at the very center put another thing right there look at this when i'm put under pressure i actually do somewhat decent at drawing quickly maybe i just need to do this more frequently and there we go put another 
uh, put, or put a little ball thing up here. I, again, I know it's not perfect, but I'm on a time crunch now. I had to delete a bunch of apps, and even then, I don't know how much time that necessarily bought me, but there it is. There is Clank from Ratchet and Clank. I did my very best to color this, uh, or to draw all this. I'm going to color in the mouth a little bit, so then it's actually easier to see what that is. Oh, and he also does have, like, you know, sort of like the whole thing going on here, so I'll go ahead and kind of, like, draw these in they don't need to be too big or small just like a decent size there just like that connect to that i know it's not perfect but i'm doing my best connect that and there we go hopefully my camera is still recording hopefully everything's okay hopefully now i'm kind of paranoid about the audio and despite all that i'm still making these pedantic changes but yeah, something like that. For some reason, no, I don't want it to have the stink eye. I mean, I know I'm on a time crunch, but I, I also want this to look decent. So there we go, something like that. But anyway, we have Kirby, Pac-Man, Master Chief, and Clank from the Ratchet and Clank series. Here is all of the drawings. Again, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll probably just trace these and color these for the heck of it and then post it up over there. Just say, hey, if you watch the video, watch me sketch them. Here's the finished result. But yeah, these are just the sketches. I'll probably work on those later. Get this post up on Instagram or whatever uh, shortly after this video goes up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if if you want more videos like this just let me know and i'd be more than happy to do so but anyway as always massive shout out thank you to all the patrons and channel members thank you to all in the low ball tier new mega shout out thank you to all the big ball tier my last can be dynamite in the major shout out thanks to all in gt run events so much you guys thank you guys so much you guys are literal legends i love you and again i apologize for this one being a little off center i was drawing it at a weird angle so like the face is going this way but then like the ears are going this way so that kind of bothers me but i don't know i'll probably fix that up before i end up like tracing it and all that but anyways yeah i'll go ahead and put a g signature on here too just then kind of fill up the space here we go as my name's grotesque we'll give it a we'll give it a nice g right there but anyways thank you guys for watching have an amazing day stay beautiful i love you all peace